my last day as a teenager and so I figured I'd vlog it. I've had an irrational fear of growing up since I was, well, literally my whole life. I remember being like six years old and being terrified to grow up and I was six, so I'm scared. I'm in Miami, so that kind of softens the blow. I'm turning 20 years old tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. I found out I'm probably going back to LA in like a few days. So we'll go from Miami home and then back to LA in like a few days. That's exciting. I didn't even vlog this before I chopped it up. We meant to order two, but she got me that one. And Emma and I are people pleasers, so we're definitely not saying anything. Yeah, I have the taste buds of a three-year-old, so chop the chicken and cream. Emma and I's favorite thing here is the chips and guac. It's hard to get you and the guacamole in. This is bad filming of me. Just eat a few chips while I film like this. The food here is so good. We're obsessed with these chicken tenders. Life is insane. Basically, the audition that I did in my LA vlog, I booked. <laughs> so I'm going to be flying back to LA literally in three days. So my trip here was supposed to be the 18th or the 18th through the 24th. And then when I found out I booked this other thing, if they told me today that the only fittings they have available are the 24th and the 25th in Los Angeles. So I'm having to switch my flight from here to home, to from here to LA. So yeah, I have to go to a fitting um, at 12 in LA on the 25th. And right now I'm in Florida, so I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna um, try to make it there somehow. I'm definitely a little stressed, but I'm also kind of glad because I can't process that this is my last day as a teenager because I'm so stressed. I'm really excited and it's all like exciting things, but it's also very stressful. But we're gonna go take pictures, which I'm excited for, and then I'm gonna come home and like figure out what I'm doing with my life. Let's see if they'll let me switch my flight. No changes allowed. No changes allowed? Yep. Your call may be monitored or recorded. Please contact the agency directly. Download our app at www. Emma, you will receive a call back between 12 and 16 minutes. Thank you for calling. It's V, Z, Victor. V as in Victor, Z, uh, L, Victor. V as in Victor, Z as in Zoo, L as in lollipop, Q as in queen, F as in Frank, and A as in Alex. Okay. All I can think of is F as in five. Yes, when you book it online, it shows three times that this ticket cannot be changed. And if you cancel, you're not receiving no credit. Okay, is there any way we can like pay the difference or anything? Uh, the only way to go to a different destination would be buying a new ticket. Okay, thank you. So, um, false alarm. I don't know when I'm going to LA, but I am going to LA soon. I freaked out for nothing. I think they're moving the fitting. Anyways, I auditioned for, I can say this now, that's so weird. I auditioned for the summer I turned pretty. Um, I was obsessed with the books when I was younger, so it was a really exciting audition for me to get and I remember reading about the character in the book and she stood out to me because she reminded me of myself. My hair doesn't look very red here but it is redder and so I related to the character so much and then I got an audition for the character and so I freaked out obviously was super excited did a private session with my acting coach and like we filmed it and I'm gonna do a video I'll either post it before this video or next Saturday but um, it's gonna be me reacting to my audition so if you want to see my audition for the summer I turn pretty go check it out but the episode came out today, so my sister and I are gonna watch the episode that has my scene in it. And the crazy thing is, I auditioned for Stranger Things, my audition's out right now, 
and the girl who booked my role has also booked another role of mine that I auditioned for and she booked this role. So she's booked three roles that I've auditioned for. I'm really excited to see how she did this scene versus how I did it because we must just go out for all the same parts and then she just books them because it's kind of crazy. But yeah, if you guys want to see my audition, I'll definitely be posting that. So we DoorDash food, McDonald's didn't have dessert again i don't know why the doordash always stops showing dessert at a certain time it's so annoying but we ordered papa john's like i don't know why i just like wanted pizza all of a sudden the first time we doordash the guy couldn't get it to our room but he literally hit on me like he made me come all the way down there and then like it was so awkward and then afterward he texted me and he was like he was like you're so pretty can i get your number birthday eve dinner it's 11.57, so my birthday's in three minutes. I literally hate my birthday every year. I cry every year on my birthday. I hate growing up. I know 20 isn't like necessarily old, but it just feels like a lot of pressure and it feels old. Like I never imagined myself not being a teenager. Like losing the teen at the end is like terrifying. And I'm definitely not where I wanna be in life and I also feel like I haven't like experienced a lot in life you know what i mean like i think growing up is just really scary and i also feel like the older i get the faster time passes and that's what's scary and also every year like so much changes so i'm really scared to see in one year what my life looks like i just feel like i don't i think the reason why i hate growing up and like time flying by is I never feel like I like fully live in the moment or like enjoy where I am in life. And that's something I'm really trying to work on this year because like my life will never look like this again. You know what I mean? Like there's probably gonna be a time where I look back and like wish I was back in this moment and my life was like this and like any problems I'm having right now are gonna be like so minuscule. So I guess birthdays just like make you think and like puts everything in perspective. I remember a few years ago, I had a friend that was turning 19 and I was like, well, you're not old until you turn 20. Like, don't worry. And now I'm the one turning 20. I'm officially 20 years old. Like, I'll never be 19 again. I know it's like such a construct, like age doesn't actually matter, but at the end of the day, it matters to everyone else. So it affects your life. Like, you can't deny the fact that you're 20. Like, you're 20. I'll never be a teenager again. That's insane. Um, so I'm out of town obviously, but every year my dad writes me a letter and then my family also wrote me a card. So I'm reading these now because I know it's going to make me sad. So I'm trying to get all of the sadness out now so I can just have fun tomorrow. I'm already going to cry. My dad is so bad. He writes these and they're so emotional every year. I don't know how every year it's like this is so sad about them. Every little thing. I'm over it, but every does it to me. I it from. I this one probably you can make me laugh because my brothers definitely find it something stupid. Why don't you wake me up? I love my brothers. I've gotten to the age where like my brothers are my best friends like obviously my sister but like my brothers are my best friends too and like my family is like so important and if you have siblings definitely appreciate them because they're like the only ones in your life that are there for every stage of your life you know what I mean but yeah I just want to document this because I feel like we're all at that age like all of us are growing up like like this whole generation you know, that sounds so corny but like we're all like actually like getting old like we're adults now i hope this helps anyone else that's turning 20 you know that like like i don't think any of us feel good about it you know what i mean like i don't think anyone feels like they're exactly where they want to be in life or like they're ready to be 20. Even if I don't post this, I think it was therapeutic. Thank you guys for watching. It's like crazy how much I've started to just like film my life, but it actually feels kind of nice. But yeah, I will see you guys next Saturday. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're struggling with feeling like this, go listen to the song Vienna by Billy Joel. It makes me feel a million times better and you're exactly where you're supposed to be.
and you're doing fantastic, I promise you. Everything's happening exactly the way it's supposed to. And we're all in this together.